down, man. Curious. Because uh, it's going to pick up. It's going to pick you guys up. Even the slide scrolls to help. That camera's going to pick it up. What are you recording? Um, well, I'm going to be uh, sending off like a video demo of our software to carry with the company. Oh, okay. And yeah, you know, it's kind of like a presentation. Hopefully. Yeah, okay. Cool. All right, so uh, welcome to Seven Bamboo Karaoke Content Providers. Uh, I'm CEO of Cyberpunks. Uh, my name is Robert Cortezzi, and I'm here today to show you uh, what the Auto KDJ system does and why you need to start selling karaoke online. So uh, just you know, follow me over here, and we'll start going through things. Now, um, the first thing about Auto KDJ is a WinApp plugin, and um, WinApp has over 50 million unique users, so it's a really good market for you guys to market karaoke on, I guess. Uh, what we've done is we've built in a karaoke store to our plugin. Now, what AutoCage Day actually does as a plugin, it's more than just a karaoke store. It also has a complete Complete singer rotation support, um, you know, playlist, uh, also has ticket support, and I'm going to go through these for you guys one at a time while we're just kind of sitting here. Um, on song entry here, like, you know, the KJ, they can just put in a name, let's say Rob, for example, pick a song, like, You Tuesday, and you can see over here, it uh, queues up in the Winamp playlist, and then it starts, you know, playing over here on the karaoke screen. And you'll notice our plugin is not like other karaoke plugins, where it's like a front end to Winamp. It's actually built into the Winamp media library itself. So, you know, we take a look over at singer rotation here. Um, you can see my name's in there now, and uh, if we put in more names. You know, like uh, John, for example, we'll put John in for Al Green. Um, you'll see his name gets added to singer rotation as well, right here. So let's say, you know, like Rob puts in like five more songs, um, as always happens in karaoke. Well, Auto KDJ does the rotation, you know, for the KJ. So. You can see Rob's kind of piled on the bottom of the list here. And let's start adding in more Johns. And you can see it gets interleaved, just like it would if a human was actually running the rotation. So that's kind of our hook. Now, what we're doing right now, as far as the online karaoke is concerned, is we're getting our content provided to us through Tricerasoft. So what we have set up with them is on their uh, web server, they have an XML uh, catalog of their songs, and we have it encoded within the plugin itself to pull that catalog, and right now it's downloading it directly from Tricerasoft. Now this could be more than Tricerasoft, this could be your company here that is doing this for. So we'll give it a few minutes. And from what I understand, Tricerasoft just updated a bunch of songs, so let's actually give that. So we go here, and let's go ahead and try that one more time. Uh, while that's downloading the list, I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to show you some of the other features of AutoKDJ. Um, AutoKDJ is web-based, meaning that um, the end users, like for our rotation screens, what we did here was we just took an old laptop, kind of ripped it apart, and it has a wireless card on it, and it just boots up. And loads the auto KDJ has a web server built in. So this laptop here connects wirelessly, pulls the web page that shows the singer rotations, and then our singers go here and you know they can see when they're coming up. 
Um, the third component in the system is the front end. And I'm going to bring this over here and show you this right now. Let's see. Where is... I'm not seeing extra tickets here, so let's let's do this. Toshi, let me have one ticket. One ticket. At Bamboo, they charge a dollar a song for tickets. So, you know, right now I'd be a customer and I would be purchasing a ticket off Toshi for one dollar. Thank you, Toshi. And this is our front end machine we have set up over here. Now, our front end is designed to run on a really low end computer. And in this case, this is a Pentium 333 megahertz and with a built in touch screen, and that's it. This is a panel PC. It's a little fancier than what we're expecting most of our users. Uh, to use with the front end, but you know, it could be used uh, with touch screens, it could be used with a keyboard, mouse, whatever. But here's the thing um, in an environment like this, where folks are paying a buck each time to sing, um, we needed a way to make it so customers could, uh, you know, each ticket could only be used once if a customer were going to enter in their own songs. And the way we did that is each of these tickets has a unique barcode on the bottom of it. And this barcode connects up to the Auto KDG plugin that I just showed you running at Winamp. And it keeps track of when a ticket's been used, who it got used by, what song they queued in, and basically tells the front end here if a ticket's been used before, it can't be used again. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put in a ticket. And uh, just take the ticket here and put it underneath the barcode. Please tell us your name, it says. So I'm just going to type in Frank here. Hit next. And uh, the customer is actually presented uh, with a few things here. They can enter in songs by album and track number. Or they can search. So let's say we want to search for, you know, Elvis. E L V I S. And then they can hit search. And let's say Rambling Man. So select the song. Rambling Man, 1913. Yes, no. Over here on the right, we have something that says upgrade. And what the upgrade ticket is for is a customer can take just a regular ticket like this, and they could bribe Auto KDJ to put them up in rotation earlier. You know, it's just like bribing a KJ, except it's all done with these tickets. So we'll go yes. And now the customer can walk back over to the playlist screen, and as soon as we get a refresh, we're going to be seeing a brand new pattern. Let's see here. Wait for a refresh. Should refresh in about 30 seconds here. Yep. So we can see Frank's, he's at the bottom of rotation here. And then the other page refresh. And Frank, because he's a new singer, um, he gets to go next. But next round of rotation, he's going to, normal rotation rules are going to apply. Okay, let me set this down over here and we'll get back up on stage here. So, a lot of you out there might be confused, you might be wondering, well, what does all this mean for us? Well, basically, what we want to set up is make it so that customers can use the front end machine over here, right? They can use the front end machine over here to purchase songs online with these tickets that we sell behind the bar. And, uh, you know what, it's Triceratops list finished downloading, so let me show you that, since we're here. Alright, so let's go here. And, okay, you can see here, um, 
you know, this is a Tricerasoft catalog, and KJ can search by name, Elvis, or they can search by song, like hound, dog, hound dog pops up, and there's a price on it, and when they double click on it, what this will do is it will open up a PayPal page, and we got to wait for that PayPal page to open up. Giddy up, horsey. There we go. And here's where, you know, the KJ, you know, they would like put in their PayPal information here and they can download the song instantly. Well, what we want to do is set it up where on KJ on the Winamp, you know, the whole server end. That's going to contain the KJ's uh, or the venue owner's, you know, credit card info or PayPal info and stuff like that. So if a customer goes up to the front end and we don't have a song, they'll suggest a song from the online library. They say, you know, and they'll say, okay, scan three more tickets and you can download and sing the song. Um, well, this is very important for you guys because. What this will do is it's going to put KJs in a funny position, especially the ones that are pirated. Um, you know, you will have your KJs like us running things legitimate, offering this type of service to their customers. And if we got a lot more content providers online, uh, we would be able to give our customers access to every song out there in your library, in other customers' library, um, all over. And the position that's going to put the pirates in is, well, gee, am I going to keep pirating and not have access to all this content when I need it? You know, easy access. Because right now, if you're a pirate, you got to go through news groups, you got to go through LimeWire, and it's a, kind of a sketchy thing to have your computer online during a show. But this, you know, you're not connecting to any P2P network, so it's just like, hey, right there. Yeah, so to a pirate, like let's say a pirate pirates 40,000 songs, well, is it going to make more sense for them to have 40,000 songs or to have like no songs in the library and have a chance of adding like two, three dollar markup per song and possibly making like two or three dollars for those 40,000 songs? That's like $80,000. Me, I'm not a stupid man. If I have a chance to resell karaoke, you know, and make $80,000 versus pirating it and getting nothing, well, guess which way I'm going to go? And I know a lot of other KJs out there are going to go down the same route. So, yeah, that's it for my presentation. I know a um, few of you guys I met at NAMM were asking for me to go ahead and whip up some kind of video for you guys, so here you go. Um, if you want to get in touch with me, uh, you can reach me at rob at cyberpunks.us or rob at autokdj.com. So, all right, thanks again, and thanks for watching this. All right, that's all I needed.